I've been using some of my time in this overreaction police state lockdown crap to sort out a few things around here and get rid of a lot of junk I don't really need. And I've rationalised my wire collection. And as you can see, now it's all on reels and looks really colourful. I used to try and economise with wire, have little bits, didn't want to use the nice new reel, keep that pristine, use the old bits and reuse them again and solder them up and try and economise. Oh, now I couldn't care less. Look at this rubbish here. How are you meant to do anything trying to sort through this wire? I don't know. Look, it's, just, look, it's so colourful. Maybe a bowerbird could use it to decorate its nest. Hope they come. Oh. I'd, I'd spend hours trying to find a bit of wire and the right colour or right something. How ridiculous. Oh, look, it's so nice. The building could almost eat it. Now, wire did actually exist before the electrical age. It was used for jewellery and clothing, hats, things like that. And the early workers could use that, wrap some cotton around it to make it insulated and do their projects. This is one of Joseph Henry's original experimental magnets. We take electrical cable for granted now. I suppose it's only been made since the early 1800s. And by the 1850s, it actually strung a bit across the Atlantic Ocean. And it really worked. They could communicate for a, well, work for a few days before someone stuffed it by putting too much voltage down the line. And it had a bandwidth of about 20 minutes per byte. So you could send a message in about five hours. It would have taken about five weeks originally. So it was a great advance for the time. There's so many different types of wire, different colours. Look, brown wire, very nice brown. Look, that, that there's Leach wire for low frequency coils. Amazing variety. There's yellow, that solders very well, that wire up the top. And there's some military green colour wire, a bit of magnet wire stuck there. Oh, look, red wire, lovely red wire, probably high current, quite high current. And some yellow wire, uh, orange wire. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I'm just describing it in case you've got a black and white TV or you're colour blind, but they're all different colours. All the coax, I got rid of all the high loss old Waltham's coax I've had for a hundred years and I've only kept the good stuff, never have too much of it. Oh look, I have got a box of bits and pieces there, but still not as much as I used to have. And that real, that, that's low loss TV coax, that's quite useful actually. Ah oh, look, if I want to rewire the house, I've got electrical wire there. All I need to do is go to the TAFE and get an A grade electrical certificate and I can do all my work myself. Fantastic. Ah, oh, I like this wire. This is my favourite wire. It's high current uh, automotive 12 volt wire, so you can wire up, you know, power leads to two metre rigs and HF rigs and that sort of thing. It's, it's great. Now stay tuned because I've got a few projects coming up in some uh, videos coming your way soon. We'll do one on the BC-348, a very famous radio from uh, World War II bombers. We'll look at this uh, home brew equipment here we've just got hold of, have a look at it and uh, see how it's gone together and what it's all about. I will also look at the SCR, I've forgotten the number, but uh, it was very important during World War II for calibrating uh, transmitters and receivers, a frequency meter device, and of course the AR7, uh, we've got that going really well, so we'll see what we've done with that and, uh, and check it out. So lots of good things coming, but they may be delayed because I've packed my boat, we were going to go to Deal Island, it's been cancelled, so now I'm going up the Maroka River into the Avon wilderness, and uh, we're going to get away from this crap in the cities, all that's going on, all this terrible stuff. So we'll be in the wilderness for a few weeks um, and hopefully we'll come back. And uh, yeah, look, we've got all the stuff. We've got a modern camping stove, we've got a tent, we've got oh, a code and we can keep in contact with the world if we want to. Our police trunking radio there, solar panels, so uh, we've plenty of power. Look, even a lithium battery, that's the most modern thing in the whole, uh, whole craft. If I can't catch fish in the Maroka River, I've got spam and sardines to live on, so that should be okay. Now, when I get back, I found a, uh, a, a thousand foot reel of film. So I'll film the apocalypse, and in a thousand years, this 35 mil film will be the only record of what complete efforts people are at this time. So we're ready to go. Keep pedaling. So what's so 
song do we sing, Christopher? Yeah. It's under a tarpaulin. Over there. Yeah. 